Well, thank you everyone for being here. I think there's a couple more people to shuffle in, uh, but, but just really want to thank you all uh, on behalf of the Department of Animal Science, the Iowa Pork Industry Center, um, the College of Agriculture of Life Sci and Life Sciences at Iowa State University for taking the time to be here today and, and, and be a part of the 2021 International Conference on Swine Nutrition. This is a great event, right? It's a great day to be here. There's a lot of things happening uh, at Iowa State University. Students are coming back in full force starting this week. Um, the Department of Animal Science has a strong enrollment, again, likely to be over 1,000 students. There's a lot of trainees happening here. There's a lot of research happening here. Um, and, and a lot of that stuff happens because of the support of industry in Iowa and agriculture industry and the swine industry is no exception to that and has been a, a significant part of why we're able to do what we're able to do at Iowa State University. And so a big part of today is to thank the industry and thank those of you that are involved in pork production, those of you that are involved uh, in swine nutrition and allied industry and are partners of pork production for what you do and what you contribute to the programs at Iowa State University that allow them to be as successful as they are. And so this is a day about celebrating that and also um, the exchange of great ideas. When we look at the registration list and think about the nutritionists that are in this room and the influence that they have in the United States swine industry, the people in this room either directly or indirectly influence probably over three quarters of the pigs that are fed in the US. And that's a pretty substantial uh, proportion of the, of, the, of the hogs produced in our country. And so when you think about that and the ideas that are gonna be shared over the next two days and the conversations that are gonna be had, these are events that help move the industry forward. And so I hope that today, one of the objectives that you'll come out with is having had a great conversation with somebody and had a new idea from something that you heard in a presentation that you can take back and implement or test and drive the industry forward in a positive manner. The other really important thing that we're here today is to celebrate uh, the career of Dr. John Patience, right? John has done so much for the swine industry and that's really why you're here, right? That's really why you're here is because of a lot of the things, the network that John has helped create in the swine industry over the last 40 years of his career, right? And we're thankful at Iowa State that we were able to have 13 of those years here because he has had a tremendous impact on Iowa producers, on the U.S. pork producers, on global pork producers, but he did it while wearing an Iowa State University shirt. And he did a lot of things because of the interaction that he had with the industry, and he also did those things because of many of the great students that he's had. He's extremely productive research and extension program, and an example and a testament of that is when you look at the program and you see the speakers and the chairs of today's sessions, and you recognize how many trainees that have gone on from John's program to work in industry and to have an impact already um, with what they're doing in the swine industry. It's a true legacy in, in, in applied swine nutrition. And so to celebrate that also, I would, I'd like to point out briefly, there'll be more discussion on this later. Um, you know, there was a, a, a group of individuals that started brainstorming of, over a year ago about how do we make sure that, that we get somebody like John that can continue that program at Iowa State University, and the culmination of those discussions has, has resulted in the development of a professorship, or a, sorry, a, a, a chair position at Iowa State University, and there's been a tr tremendous amount of fundraising. There's been some critical donors that have stepped up to lead that, beginning with the Iowa Pork Producers Association right out of the gate, and several others. There's a board up in the back, and there's information on that. And, and I, the other thing I would encourage you to do is to come to Trey Kellner's talk at the end of the day, and Trey will share with you more about how that process started and where that process is at and how you can get invo involved with that. But the, but the take home message of that is that within the last few weeks, the Dean of the College of Agriculture and Life Science, and Dan Robeson, has announced that position will be open and has given a green light to the Department of Animal Science to start creating that position description and advertising for that position. So we're excited about that. We're, we're pumped up about that um, because 
of what John has done for the program at Iowa State and the reputation it has and the, and the opportunity to continue building on that. So again, those things don't happen out of the blue. There's been a great team, Trey Kellner, Chad Pilcher, Gene Gorley, that have done a lot of work on that and, and, and Pat McGonigal and just what they've done and the thoughts that they put into it and the effort that they put into it has been tremendous. So with that, I just hope that you can come and be a part of that, that conversation later today and then make sure that you're here for the reception. So it's, it's been a great uh, uh, start to the day. I'm so glad to see all your faces here um, and, and just you know, really embrace today, embrace the opportunity to, to exchange ideas to interact with, uh, with those around you and take those ideas back into the industry. And also, uh, you know, thank you, John, for what you've done, not only for the industry, but for your colleagues, for your students, for the impact that you've had on all of us in this room. So let's give it up for John before we start it off. So two of the the, the two chairs of the moderators for this morning's session are two of John's trainees. Actually, I forgot one important piece, uh, a critically important piece. Stacy Matchin and Julie from Conference Planning. I don't know where you guys are at. Hopefully you're in here. But these things, these conferences, you don't just roll out of bed and they're happening. Well, most of us just roll out of bed and they're happening, right? Stacy and Julie have just put in a tremendous effort to make these kinds of things come to fruition. I can't even describe all the effort that goes into it because I don't even know all the effort that goes into it. Um, but I know it's a tremendous work and, and we're just so thankful for them and what they do for our programs at Iowa State too. So, thank you. The first two moderators today are Ms. Kristen Olson and Dr. ching Yun Lee, who are both uh, alumni of of Dr. Patience's program, and I think the person that's going to kick it off is Dr. Lee. So, thank you. 